men as the Bible declares that when men were asleep the enemy was sowing tonight oh God we are standing at the gate of time we declare the enemy cannot enter and access the ground of our families the ground of our careers and begin to sow what is not consistent with your nature my God we declare right now that this is a night of impartation this is a night of divine encounter our decrees and our rulings my God are laws in the spirit may you give virtue to our tongues we are not just declaring things for the sake of declaring we are here to direct our families we are here to program our marriages we are here to claim destinies them that are not married may this be the night to lay and tear on the altar until their miracle begin to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we pray for grace we pray for the leading of the Holy Ghost we pray for the burdens of the Spirit we pray that this night of God will be a night of reckoning and a night of remembrance our families are going to be healed tonight every stagnation is going to be eliminated tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Lord arise that your enemies may scatter you are the one that you are the one that dislodges the wheels of the chariots you are the one of God that breaks the bows and the arrows of the enemy you are the one that devours wicked arrows arrows that are thrown and pointed to your sons and daughters you are the one of God that shields and protects us and this night my God we arise against diabolic powers we arise against demonic altars we arise against the rituals occultic activities we arise against flying witches we arise against diviners and witch doctors satanists luciferianism illuminati we arise at every occultic practice slaughters and sacrifices that are always offered at this hour we secure this gate in the spirit we declare where we are only angelic activities are permitted in the mighty name of jesus my god we declare wherever your sons and daughters are praying for this is a portal this is a portal this is where angels are ascending and descending this is where jacob entered and he said indeed this is where the lord dwells we declare wherever we are praying for some are praying from their homes others from apartments that whose foundation we don't even know some are praying from cities out of this nation where atmospheres and environments have been saturated oh god some from qatar some from dubai lord calling upon your name where atmospheres are saturated with islam rituals we declare may they encounter an open heaven tonight in the mighty name of jesus some are behind the seas with a place where marine spirits are ruling my god we declare there is no interruption for them there is no interruption they are operating under open heaven principalities and powers cannot stop us tonight as we transact on behalf of our families in the mighty name of jesus lord right now we declare there is a deployment of your angels we declare angels of war angels of battle let them be deployed in the realms of the spirit may they be deployed to fight engage and to tackle everything that rises against us in the mighty name of jesus lord wherever we are we announce we have penetration we declare no private scene no private condition my god can hinder our prayer we announce we are covered with the garment of righteousness we have the right standing with you we have the garment of holiness even as we approach you my god our prayers are there being received like incense before your presence my god as we approach the altar of incense where men pour their incense as we approach the courtrooms of heaven with our petition we declare the enemy cannot oppose us as he opposed joshua we announce oh god our garment is right no filthiness nothing oh god can hinder our prayers tonight we declare our tongues are like the pen of a skillful writer whatever we publish in the realms of the spirit shall become law we declare tonight we are breaking the yokes and the bondages and the curses and the patterns and the cycles of our families tonight oh god our people are coming out our brothers our sisters everybody connected to us they are coming out of their bondage and their shackles in the name of jesus lord we are receiving our goods we are being restored we are receiving our possession we are invading demonic archives this is the night oh god for families to be restored this is the night my father for families to receive that which you have ordained from them from the foundations of the earth this is the night for the reversal of curses and infirmities and diseases this is a night for marriages to stand and work this is the night for men and women to be seen maruska toria bara lepreke tozibakanda marosto lo prokotas in 
imbra kotele baria sadaba kataya. Oh, shania paronda. We are dealing with every frustration in the realms of the spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God. I sense there is a lot of grace. There is a lot of grace tonight. I want us to jump straight because we have a couple of issues that we are going to pray for. Hallelujah. We are going to stand on the scripture in Colossians chapter number 2, verse 14. Colossians chapter number 2, verse 14 and 15. Colossians 2, 14 and 15. The Bible says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Uh, now we're going to stand on that because we are about to cancel legislations. This is a scripture. Let's look also at Psalms chapter number 11, verse 3. Psalms 11, verse 3. Psalms 11, verse 3. See what the Bible says. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? We all understand that family, family is the foundation of every man. Everyone comes from a certain family. And these 11 signs, these 11 signs, or these 11 activities are things that happen, but they are not normal in families. Number one, you can see the pattern of premature death, where people die before their time, either through accidents, either through suicide. These are signs, these are signs of demonic attacks in a family. You see people dying prematurely. Today, today we are going to raise a cry against against every premature death. You see miscarriages where people cannot keep a pregnancy. These are signs of demonic attacks in a family. Premature deaths, barring young children before they even test their destiny. And sometimes when you look at this, it looks like it is a recurring pattern. You know, it looks like every year, every year, there is a premature death. Someone just gets married and the next thing the person dies. You know, someone is just beginning life, they have cleared the university and the next thing they lose their life number two the second thing you need to watch for number two is also difficulty in delivery especially when it comes to delivering the firstborn you either find three things that happen number one is delayed conception you find a couple has stayed for long there is no wrong doctor report it's not that there is any place of infertility but they delay to conceive tonight we are going to stand at that door and i believe that the wombs will be opened the second thing is you discover that the pregnancy becomes a problem especially firstborns a serious problem the pregnancy becomes a problem and some of them it goes even to the last stage where by the day of delivery or oh, the child the umbilical cord i don't know there is an emergency cs or oh, the child has to be put on oxygen you see all this and sometimes you study the patterns and you discover is like every firstborn born in this home goes through a certain attack that's something you need to watch out the other thing number three is chronic diseases and sicknesses Chronic diseases and sicknesses, diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, whatever they call them. I want to assure you, diseases are not in the will of God. And when Jesus died on the cross, a couple of things happened. And one of them is that the redemption came with our healing. The other thing you need to watch out is high number of joblessness. You know, it's easy for two or three people to be jobless, but it beats the logic that the whole family is gathered at home, back at their parents' home. Nobody has a job. When you see such a pattern, just know there is an attack in that family, and someone must arise in prayer. And I want to believe that person is you. This thing must end today in the name of Jesus. People who are qualified with degrees, with masters, going back home, and you study and you discuss it's a high number your cousins your relatives people that are not that are not employed and it's not that they're not qualified they have a cpak 
They have a degree in finance. They, they are competent in the marketplace. But nothing seems to go through. Joblessness is a sign of attack. The other thing is madness. And this madness sometimes comes as depression. And sometimes it recurs yearly. Someone just becomes mad. Uh, this is a, another attack. This is another attack. This is another attack. Then there is marital delay or marriages not working. You find people, they delay to get married. Possibly there were claims. Uh, covenants or things like that and then you find that there are marital delays, marital delays. You look around, you realize people delay to get married in this home. It is not normal. Then there is hardship and constant poverty. Uh, this one has affected me. I know what I'm talking about. You look around, no one has ever made it in your family. No one. No one, you are 11 of you, no one has ever made it. No one has a decent job. You keep on struggling to raise the children, to feed them, and it is no one. This is not normal. There is a level of hardship and constant poverty that needs people to interrogate and, and deal with it in the spirit. And then you find this also, number eight, these are just signs of demonic battles in families. Number eight, it is rising and falling. Rising and falling, people succeed, succeed, then boom, they begin plunging down. And it looks like men are forbidden from succeeding. You come from a family, it looks like men are forbidden from succeeding. When you're about to hit the peak, something happens, and boom, you hit your rock bottom. So nobody has broken a certain ceiling. These things are not normal. And then we have high dropout of, uh, from school. People never finish school for one reason or another, early pregnancy, rebelliousness. People just drop out. It looks like there is a line drawn in the spirit that nobody will ever pass here. We're going to deal with them. And then there is no progress in family. The way your grandmother was, the way your father is, and the the way you are, there is no progress in that family. You realize nothing is moving. Nothing is moving. And then you realize also there is the place, number 11, you know, stagnation, suffering, no good news. This is not the will of the Father. This is not the will of the Father. Today we are here to raise a cry concerning our families. My God, my God, we are here to raise a cry. We are here to raise a cry against premature death, against, you know, difficulty in conception and even the birth of children. We are here to raise a cry concerning chronic diseases. We are here to raise a cry against high numbers of joblessness, madness in our families, ban of marriages or marital delay and troubles, hardship and constant poverty, rising and falling. People, it's like the they are forbidden in the spirit to ever succeed. We are here to raise a cry against our people not finishing school. The, the, no progress in family. No good news. Uh, a nature of stagnation and suffering. Hallelujah. Remember, this is the hour of contention and the hour of war. Hallelujah. So this is not just another prayer. We are here to contend for our families. Let's begin with the first point. We're going to take the 11 points. Every point you are going to give it two minutes. So we have the next 22 minutes to push these points in the spirit. I want you to arise and declare life in your family. I want you to cancel the spirit of death. Some of you, this premature death, sometimes you discover is like there is a specific month in the year whereby there has to be a barrier. It's like there is a pattern. It looks like every August or every July or every March or every April, we must bury someone. It looks like it's it, it, even people are prepared. This is not normal. I want you to declare life over your family. Declare life over the members of your family. Announce that premature death will not prevail. Just open up your mouth. Declare life over your children, over your brothers, over your cousins. That spirit of death that hovers in families to exterminate men before their time shall not prevail. When men are about to break forth and break out, when people are in the verge, they just cleared campus and they're about to enjoy life, death begins to strike. We cancel and nullify patterns of death in our families. The hand of the enemy is not upon our families anymore. We declare life. The Bible says that with long life he shall satisfy us. We covenant with the family members, even them that do not know the Lord. We declare, Lord, none of them shall die before their time. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible declares that all the days written for me, oh God, they were recorded in your book before. Even any of them 
came to pass. We announce the days of our ordinances. The days of the ordinances of our family members shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. You spirit of death, you have no place, you have no hold in our family. We secure our young cousins, our relatives, anyone connected with my household. I declare my father, they shall live and not die. They will stand on Zion to declare your goodness. With long life, you shall satisfy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's take the second prayer. Let's begin to contend for people who take time to conceive. Where there is contention, those who are pregnant even now, as we are praying, begin to pray for your pregnancy that indeed it shall not be attacked. Them that have been believing God for children, you have entered a place of delay in conception. There are people that fight the wombs of people. They want to shut your womb so that you can walk in disgrace. I know there are people who bind the wombs of men and women so that that marriage can be filled with shame and disgrace. We declare where your womb has been bound. May it be open tonight in the name of Jesus where covenants and rituals and witchcraft and sorcery were performed to bind your womb right now. We declare may those altars catch fire. My God, wherever the wombs of your sons and daughters were blocked and tied because of malice and jealousy, we declare right now may those wombs be opened in the name of Jesus. We announce under the authority that is in the name of Jesus, the wombs of your sons are opening. We announce there is no delay in conception. All the fruit of the womb is a blessing for you. My God, there is no delay in conception. There is no attack and challenges when people enter into the delivery room. All the women that are in the process of receiving children in this season, my God, we declare the process is easy. We cancel every attack. Umbilical cord, stay in your place. Child, stay in your place. Move in the position of delivery. We declare no emergencies at the last hour. We declare no theater at the last hour. It shall be safe in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Every pattern of delay, every pattern of delay in conception, let it be sorted out tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now raise a cry because of chronic diseases, sicknesses that are identified with our families. It is not the will of the Father. It is not the will of the Father. The Bible says by his stripes we were healed. When Jesus was on that cross, not only did he die for our sins, but he died for the diseases. He died for our infirmities. He died for virus, fungi, bacteria, any infirmities, sicknesses, and diseases that are chronic in nature. My Father, we cut them off now. Diabetes cannot affect us. In the name of Jesus, high blood pressure, every contagious contamination that is transferred through the genes and the blood, oh God, because of our connection, we declare right now we belong to the family of Christ. We are connected with Abraham. We have a new genealogy in the spirit. None of these diseases have power over us. We cast them in the name of Jesus. These are the diseases of Egypt. We rule over them, oh my God, in the mighty the name of Jesus. We declare healing now from the head to the sole of their feet. We declare order. We declare the nature of your new family is gonna manifest in your life. You are of God. You belong to the Father. You carry the life of the Father. Every nature and DNA that is not consistent with the will of God, we cut that life off in the name of Jesus. You are healthy. You shall not be affected. It shall end with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed. Behold, in the name of Jesus. Every chronic diseases, Kabrosita Lamaka, Rokotoria Pacosta, Le Paruka Tela Bahabe. In the name of Jesus, diseases, let them die. Let them leave our families. Let them leave our family members in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's now raise a cry because of high numbers of joblessness. High numbers of joblessness. It is not the will of the Father that indeed a man can die without leaving an inheritance to his children. The Bible says, that a man shall leave an inheritance to his children, children. The Lord says, I shall bless the work of your hands. Yes, I know the times are tough because of COVID-19, but we are not connected to the system of the world. We operate from a different economy, the economy that comes from the realms of the spirit. And somebody must be mad in the spirit and begin to arise and deny joblessness in their family. It is illegal for a whole family that nobody is employed. 
My God, cut that pattern in the spirit. Cut it in the spirit. Cut it in the spirit. It is illegal for us to go back to our parents because nothing seems to work. Receive the grace today to arise again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we declare every nature of joblessness. My God, some of these men and women are qualified, but things have refused to work out. We declare may their files be urgent. May there be phone calls in this season. My God, we cut off every jealousy, every envy, anything that is hindering them in the realms of the spirit. The Bible says you're the one who blesses the work of our hands. You're the one who trains our hands on how to make wealth. Locate them now. Position them now. Let doors be opened in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that no candy shall be opened. We are knocking in the realms of the spirit, my father. Let doors be opened. Let doors be opened. Joblessness must end tonight. Joblessness must end tonight for our family members and people that are called according to our names in the mighty name of Jesus, my God, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors for our brothers, open doors for our sisters, open doors for our aunties, our uncles, open doors, my God, recando sopali, recledo sapia katora, leprikandos, may men be deployed where they are going to be fruitful and functional in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us also to pray and begin to deal. I know that there is a level of depression that graduates and becomes madness and insanity. This is not the will of God. Every attack of the mind, every place, there are families whereby every year people are struck with madness or people reach a certain age and they are struck with madness and they cannot function. It's not that it is of God. No medical history, nothing. We are dealing with high voltage family attacks and tonight I want you to raise a cry. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Some of you understand what I'm talking about. Begin to pray for the sanity of your father, the sanity of your grandfather, the sanity of your mother, the sanity of your aunties. Oh, there are men who go and bind and arrest the brains of men so that they just become like toast. We declare my God, now member of our family shall be attacked with depression that matures into levels of insanity. We declare my, uh, the minds of our families are redeemed and dedicated unto the altar of Yahweh. No attack through oppression. No attack through arrows of depression. No attack of father of insanity. Oh God we declare soberness among our family members in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare soberness upon our family members in the mighty name of Jesus. Rado Zokoto Yabakada The next one I want us to take time because the sixth one is marriages. And there are, there, are, there are a few things that happen in marriages. Number one, number one, you'll find that there is either attack in marriages. People get married, but marriages are attacked. Number two is delay in marriages. And number three is no marriage at all. People desire to get married, but they don't get married. Now, we will begin with those who desire to get married. And they don't get married. I remember there is a time... Anytime I, was want, I wanted to get into a relationship, people, you know, every girl I tried to talk to, they would look at me and tell me, no, you know, you look like a player. And it broke my heart because I was genuine. And I said, how does a player look like? And I remember one day the Lord told me, pray against that identity in the, in the spirit. Pray against that identity. Some of you have a branding in the spirit. You must bring it down. Some of you have a branding in the spirit. And when people talk to you, immediately you have heard it repeatedly. You know, this is consistent. Oh, you look like the ladies who love money. You look like a high class stubborn. You know, it may sound like a joke, but at the end of the day, there are brands that stand in the spirit. And those brands repel men. That's the first thing. The second thing you need to pray against every claim, every claim you ever made, every covenant you ever entered into knowingly and unknowingly, vows, declarations that you released in the atmosphere knowingly and unknowingly. And then after that, you just need to tell the Lord to lead you because it's better broken relationship than a broken marriage. And anyone that is in a relationship that is not sure about, may the Lord bring direction tonight. And if there is a relationship that is has been draining you spiritually, may you receive the grace to break it because marriage 
marriage is about destiny. There is also another thing that happened. I was told by a Kamba lady that when you are born in a Kamba home, the last born is always dedicated to the father. And they say this is the lady who will keep the father at home. And most of the Kamba last born ladies, they don't get married or they delay marriage. Why? Because there is a claim at home that this should be the daughter that should keep the father at home. These are claims. Cancel them. Nullify them. Cancel every branding in the spirit. Just open up your mouth. Cancel every wrong identity in the spirit. Claim the brand of the Holy Ghost. You are a daughter and a man of Zion. You carry the identity of Christ. Every branding in the spirit, let it be brought down now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every branding in the spirit, every identity that is not consistent with you, let it be brought down. Declarations that you that have ever been made about you that are not consistent with who you are. Your past shall not arise against you. The past has no power in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, begin to cancel covenants and vows and decrees that you made. You know, there are things. Possibly you are in a relationship and you made vows. You said, I'll never love another man or another woman. I will love you till to death. And today, those words are still there in the spirit. Some people have claims over you. Parents have claims. Some, some people said you will never marry anyone else. A claim was placed in the realms of the spirit. Begin to break those claims. Break every witchcraft prayer. People who fast and pray for you, calling you their wives and their husbands. Cut them. Break those claims in the realms of the spirit my God declare now that the desires of your heart it is the will of God the institution of marriage was begun by our Lord Jesus Christ it is the will of God that you will get married and now I declare in the name of Jesus every claim has been broken every covenant and vows and, and every agreement you ever entered into has been cut off. Every claim over your life by relatives, by men or women, every witchcraft prayers made against your life, claims that are in the dimensions of prayer, we cut their influence now. We declare you are who Christ says you are. Wear the new identity now. We declare, oh, from now you shall be visible. May the Lord lead you. Anyone in a relationship and you don't know how to get out, we cut off. Receive the grace to walk out. Receive the grace to stand. Relationship with married men. Relationship with people who are not born again. Relationship for the sake of money. Walk out. Sexual relationships that have made your anointing to be drained. We cut off those relationships. Receive the grace to stand in purity in the mighty name of Jesus. We cut off that flow. We cut off that flow. We cut off that flow in the name of Jesus. Declare right now that you are free. You are walking out. You are now committed and dead dedicated to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The second thing that happens is the attack of marriages. There are three things, if I, if I was to summarize, that come upon marriage. The first thing that attacks marriages is Jezebelic spirit. In Jezebelic spirit, you begin to find seducing women and seducing men who are there to lead you into adultery. I know this is an issue in our time. Most of the matrimonial beds are not kept pure. So we have to pray against Jezebelic spirits that are there to seduce our husbands and even our wives because the world is changing. The world is changing. The world is changing. The second thing, is to pray against spirits that are released to destroy destinies of marriages. Some marriages began very well with great destiny. People were investing together. They were growing great things they were achieving until an attack happened. And it was not an attack just on an individual. The bigger picture, it was on an attack on destiny. Because if you continued in that way, my God, fruitfulness, you are going to subdue. You are going to replenish. You are going to multiply. And boom, an attack was released. And now, the other prayer we are going to make, we are also going to pray against strange women and strange men that pursue our women and pursue our, our, our husbands and our wives. I don't know. There is, you know, there, there is always the other woman, the other man factor. Something just shows up. People in their career, 
We are going to hide our marriages in the realms of the spirit and we will pray that the destiny and the assignment of the Lord concerning that marriage shall come to pass. The Bible says, and he blessed them. The blessing was done them. And the Bible says, and he said, let them be fruitful them. Let them subdue. Let them multiply. When the attack on them comes, automatically many things begin to go wrong. Begin to pray for marriages. My God, they ought to work. They ought to work. When marriages don't work, the next generation is in jeopardy. Let's pray against Jezebelic spirit. The spirit that comes to seduce men. The spirit of oppression. The spirit that comes to release seduction and sexual perversion. Let's pray against the other woman, the other man factor. And also, let's pray for the destiny of our marriages. Every marriage that was orchestrated by heaven it had a destiny some of you you're supposed to be millionaires you're supposed to be high established you're supposed to be moving great things but attacking and the purpose of that marriage was aborted. My God, tonight, oh Father, we know the devil has released every arsenal to destroy marriages. Lord, we declare tonight, may there be healing, may there be healing, may there be healing, may there be healing. We arise against the other woman and the other man. People who are sent demonically to infiltrate into marriages and to cause chaos, my God, that even a couple can argue and disagree and even end up even going are going to a place of even thinking of a divorce because of a stranger. My father, every stranger sent in our marriages in the form of men and women today, may they scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stranger empowered demonically to come and break marriages. Strangers that come, oh God, empowered by Satan to come and destroy marriages. May their power begin to die with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, strange women, strange men sent to our wives, strange women sent to our husbands. My father, we arise against them. We frustrate their assignments and their agendas. We declare right now, let every agenda let it backfire. Whatever they have planned, their selfish agendas may it backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we arise against Jezebelic spirit, spirit of seduction, spirit of perversion that has invaded the couples, my God, to make them defile their matrimonial bed, to make them, oh God, not to walk in oneness anymore, to defile the covenants that they made to one another. Dear Lord, we arise against this Jezebelic spirit that is there to wipe out marriages. We declare shall not prevail. Marriages are going to work. We announce that the blessing of marriage shall come to pass. Men will be blessed. Men will subdue. Men will multiply. Men will increase and become fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we dedicate our marriages, even those of us who are married. We declare may we be led of the Holy Ghost. Every attack orchestrated from hell, may it be averted, may it be quenched in the name of Jesus. Words released, curses uttered, conspiracy, jealousies. Oh God, people who speak against marriages and relationships, we curse and condemn their tongues in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare tonight that indeed the destinies of our marriages shall come to pass. Lord, that which you have ordained for us. Every marriage carries an assignment. Every marriage carries a unique destiny. We declare those destinies will not be aborted. My God, some men in marriage, they are supposed to be great entrepreneurs. Others were supposed to be great, oh God, in their trades and all that they do. But the devil showed up. We announce, let there be restoration of the destiny of marriages. Let there be healing. Let our women come back. Let men go back to their homes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we arise against the spirit of womanizing, polygamy spirit, spirit of alcoholism that keeps on rising to break marriages. We arise against them spirit of lewdness in the name of Jesus. Spirit of sponsorship. We arise against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we declare you are the witness in our marriages. You shall preserve our marriages. Every battle towards marriages, Lord, we surrender them to you. Lord, we surrender them to you. You are the one that touches the hearts of men and women. Touch the hearts of men and women. Let there be reconciliation. Let the former love, the former joy that fill those homes, let those joys begin to flow again in the name of Jesus. Let the nature of forgiveness, the nature of understanding, the nature of communicating. Let it be upon us. Patterns of marriages not working because of generational bloodlines. We declare right now they have no hold over families. People that come from homes where divorce reigned and now there is a claim in the spirit. My God, we declare it ha cannot happen. It has no power. We cut off those claims. We cut off the flow of those patterns in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we declare marriages are going to work. 
we declare marriages are going to work in the mighty name of Jesus. The destiny of marriages is going to work. We declare, my Father, the destiny of marriages, the destiny that which you ordained and orchestrated, from the foundations of the earth, my Father, it shall come to work in the name of Jesus. And right now we declare, if there be anyone struggling, who feels like the biological time has elapsed, and they have desired the place of marriage, my God, may you begin to network them in the spirit. This is their desire, Lord. This is their desire, Lord. We break soul ties. And we announce right now, some people made covenants and say that we'll never get married. We nullify those covenants and vows that were made carelessly. Lord, we declare right now, may their doors begin to open. We declare marriages that are going to work in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The second prayer that I want us to pray for is hardship and constant poverty. Hardship and constant poverty. <laughs> Hardship and constant poverty. Sorry, some of you understand what I'm talking about. There is a level where a person, maybe you are born again and things are working for you. But when you look at your bloodline, when you look at everyone, things you can sense, indeed this is wrong. People are constant hardship, stagnation. People are suffering. Nothing seems to move. We know many things happen, but we have the opportunity to pray. We have the opportunity to pray. Some of these hardships is because of witchcraft and all these things. You know, it's not the will of God. The Bible says when God called Abraham, he told him, leave your father and leave your mother. And I'm going to lead you to a land. And the Bible says that they launched, first of all, when, when Torah, Terah, which means delay, Launch out on a journey. They went and settled at Haran, I believe. And where they settled, the Lord called Abraham out of that place because they were moving to Canaan, but they settled in the middle of the journey. And Abraham arose and he settled where God wanted to settle terror. And this is the prayer I want us to make, that we shall go farther than our fathers. Where our fathers died, where they were buried, that's not where we'll be buried. Every line that was drawn in the spirit, that people don't pass this line. Tonight we are declaring that we shall break every line that has been set against our families and against us in the spirit. My God, somebody has to arise in prayer. Oh my God, there are limitations. Sometimes you look at your family. I remember... I remember us just looking at my family. We are graduates. Nobody moves. Things were not moving. My God. Uh, and, and I knew this is error. And I began to sort this seek the Lord. And the Lord revealed by revelation that there was, there was, there, my, 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 one of my grandfathers was involved in witchcraft. And, and whatever activities he did opened a portal and money was attacked and I knew there's a problem and the Lord gave me an instruction and some of you tonight may the Lord give you the revelation of what is happening behind the scenes so that you can understand what you are dealing with my God some Patterns are not normal. It's not normal for a graduate to go back home and stay, yet they are qualified. People with no qualification are thriving. But you look at your family, people are even drowned into depression. Some have entered into alcoholism. The form of poverty, you look at men who are supposed to be successful, but things happen. It looks like destinies were hijacked. My God, oh, Holy Spirit, you're the one that understands what happened in ancient times. Let every altar that was raised, every altar that makes demand of our families, let them be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Every ritual, curses, covenants, things that cause families to be poor, suffer 
and stagnate in life, let them be broken tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to reveal to your sons and daughters. Show them the altars. Show them the place where transactions happen. Show them the conversations that took place and let their decree tonight. Lord, we stand canceling handwritings, canceling decrees, dealing with ancient foundations that were there, laid of God, that begin to attack our lives. The Bible says what shall happen when the foundation of the Russians is destroyed. When the foundations are destroyed, the Russians are in problem. My God, but our foundation is Christ Jesus. We declare, Lord, we petition the heaven for the sake of our cousins who are bound in alcohol and depression, for the sake of our sisters, oh God, and our brothers and even our relatives, my Father, who are bound in poverty, the spirit of stagnation. People don't progress. We declare we will not die where our fathers died. We will not die and end up where our fathers ended up. We are breaking the ranks. We are breaking the cords. We are breaking the barriers. In the name of Jesus, we shall be greater than them that went ahead of us. My God, my God, I declare this of our families tonight in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of poverty orchestrated through witchcraft, demons that got legal demand to attack families and make them stagnate tonight. In the name of Jesus, I declare that their claim is nullified by the blood of Jesus. Every claim is nullified. The other altar, the altar of Christ, speaks better things. Let that family begin to arise from their shackles. Let that nature of poverty and struggle and shame, let it end tonight in the name of Jesus. Let their doors begin to open, oh my Father. Let their doors begin to open, oh my Father. Hallelujah. It is not normal when a family all they know is hardship. Constant poverty. May it end tonight in the name of Jesus. The other issue is rising and falling. It looks like people are forbidden from being great. Hallelujah. People are forbidden from being great. And we are going to join this with no progress in family. You begin a business, it rises, then it reaches a place and collapse. Those are the stories. Men buy cars and then they sell and go back to the village. No, that will not be the place. That will not be the place. That will not be the place. My God, Father, tonight, we release a cry. We raise a petition of our heaven. My God, the spirit where people don't progress. May families begin to progress today. In the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel cycles and patterns. Where people rise in business. People rise in career. People rise in many things. They even go out of the country. And then suddenly things begin to come down. I declare now they have permission to succeed. They have permission to move forward. They have permission to progress. Everything that hindered them. Let it be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I just want to mention five doors. Five doors or gates of attacks. And we're going to close them in the spirit and then I believe our time will be well spent. The first door. The first door is the door of jealousy. Jealousy. And this jealousy can be with anyone. It can be with neighbors. It can be with relatives, aunties, uncles. And I know there are places where people cannot even announce their success. I've heard this a lot in the Western, that people cannot even build a decent house. Because the moment you look like you're succeeding, people just go to strange altars, to witches, to fight you and cut you off. Some of your parents, is like they hide you. Even you cannot go back to your village in a car. Because the moment you look like you're prospering, something will happen. And jealousy or envy becomes a door that permits a lot of attack. Because it is jealousy that leads men. So some, some, you know, maybe you were born in a family. You, you, you grew with your auntie's children. They, 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 something happened along the way. You, you succeeded. Right now you're not even in the country. Their lives never went as they're supposed to be. And now the aunt is jealous of you. The aunt is jealous because you got married. They are jealous because your life is moving. And, and you know, you, you just wonder. Instead of them even celebrating me, sometimes you go home with a shopping. You bless everyone. But there are people who receive the shopping. But it becomes a contact. They are jealous. And they begin to console powers to bind you. So that you can, so that your parents can be frustrated. 
where I do pastoral work in Limuru. I've prayed for two young men, and I discovered that their parents are senior businessmen. And both of them, one was bound with the spirit of alcohol. The other one looks like he's in, insane. And his father is one of the leading businessmen. And I knew this is jealousy. This is people who just want to embarrass you because they want to make your parents look like they did nothing. And, and this jealousy, jealousy, the gate of jealousy must be man. The gate of jealousy. We will drive to our villages. No devil, no witch can wipe us out. The Lord, the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord added no sorrow. We, we are not blessed by men. Our blessing comes from above. And there is no devil, even with their jealousy, that can prevail. My God, we will not hide that which you have given us legally. We refuse to sneak to our homes as if we are strangers there. We arise against the jealousy, jealousy in our relatives, jealousy among the neighbors, people who feel jealous and begin to curse and speak evil of us, speak evil of our families and speak evil of our enterprise. We condemn their tongues and we cut off their conversations. We declare their words hold no power and we announce we are who the Lord says we are. We are blessed. We are the head and not the tail. We are moving forward. We are prospering. We are succeeding. We are taking over territories in the name of Jesus. Jesus, my God, and even those who are jealous and they took a step to consult witches and wizards, we declare where they spend their money, we cast their money on their altars in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number two, another door that opens, another door that opens is the door of stepmothers. Those who come from polygamous homes, you know what I'm talking about. Today we are praying for families. Those who come from polygamous homes. You know what I'm talking about? Especially a stepmother that came and it looks like your mother was kicked out. This one has happened to me on a very close level. And I know it. Where a stepmother wants to frustrate everyone. Some men who are supposed, maybe, you, 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 maybe your mother, your mother gave birth to a boy, the first wife. And then the second woman came and she has boys. And now it looks like she has to destroy this boy because of inheritance battles. The spirit of destruction. So that now this boy doesn't make it. And I know those battles are there. The man married another woman and the woman and most of the step mothers, majority, always get their way through witchcraft. I don't know why, but majority keep the marriage, they keep the man, and they try to keep their dealings through witchcraft. And the kind of witchcraft that they keep is by cutting everyone out. My God. And some of them, you dig deep, you discover their own mothers are witches. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But I know some people, even some accidents begin to happen in homes because of this strange woman who came. My God. You are there because the Lord has appointed you there. Oh my God. The Lord has appointed you there. The Lord has appointed you there. The Lord has appointed you there. There is a spirit that fights for inheritance. And people can use any manner of power to make sure that you are wiped out. Your children are wiped out. Your marriage doesn't work. But I know there is a God in heaven. My God, there is a God in heaven. There is a God who fights for us. Stepmothers become a source of attack to destroy you, destroy destiny. Attack everything that is upon you so that your father doesn't have favor with the first house. But tonight we are stopping those attacks in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are declaring every wicked stepmother, stepmothers that have been empowered demonically to destroy families. Tonight we declare May their powers die with them in the mighty name of Jesus. They have no authority. They have no rank. They have no capacity. Our homes are going to stand. Every wicked plan that they are planning of our children, that they are planning of our marriages, of our enterprise, may it backfire on their face in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare we are surrounded by fire. We are shielded by the hedge of the Holy Ghost. Their enchantment and divination, their monitoring God to see how we are doing shall not prevail. 
hide us under the covering of your wings in the name of Jesus. Lord, every power that they consult, may it backfire their door in the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow that they draw and throw, may those arrows be averted and reversed to them in the name of Jesus. Our families shall succeed. Our children will prevail. Our families will move forward in the name of Jesus. Even stepmothers, oh my God, who have bound our fathers and made them, oh God, to abandon their responsibilities. They have put them in bottles and bound their destinies that they cannot think anymore. My God, tonight we declare, let our parents be released. Let our parents be released in the name of Jesus. Let husbands be released in the mighty name of Jesus. Let Contenka, Kustav, Ibrakato, Leros, Kipara, Tusa, Makada, Le Parika, Toria, Barusa, De Bakata, Leros, Yapata. Let our parents be released in the name of Jesus. We pick their souls from the pits of hell and we declare they are coming back to their senses. They are coming back to the place of them serving and becoming the father that we knew. My God, I feel that heavily in my spirit. I don't know who I'm praying for. Oh my God, fathers that were good fathers, but something happened, they abandoned their family, abandoned their home, they abandoned everything because a strange woman showed up and now your father cannot even talk to you. Though you knew you are the darling, you are the loving daughter, the father used to love the family, but something happened. My God, my God, may the Lord redeem your father and may the Lord cause him, Karus Parus Katos, may the Lord cause him to show up again. My God, I, I hear in the Holy Ghost, he must be released. He must be released. He's bound. His soul is caged. He must be released. He must be released. He must be released. He, be released. he doesn't even know what he's doing. Doing. He must be released, my father. Oh my God, my God, my God. Oh Jesus, I feel an anointing there. Somebody's father is being delivered at this hour. Angels have been dispatched to deliver, and it's a lady you had a powerful relationship with your father, but a strange woman showed up, and even you don't understand your father anymore. I see angels being dispatched to untie him and release him from where he was bound. My God, you may not understand some of these things, but families are under serious attack. Envious aunties. Hashade brakunta la mazea. Envious aunties. Envious aunties. This is another major gate for attacks. Envy. Very close family members. Very close family members. You hear statements like to me on our angle amenda. No me rudi to apa. Such statements you have to cancel them in prayer. It shows you the nature of their heart. To me skia wengu ameolewa, me rudi apa na watoto. Those statements cannot be taken in vain. Wacha tuone vile ataendelea. Father, we declare right now in the name of Jesus under this anointing. Every word released by aunties, uncles, relatives that are close to us to demean us and make it look like nobody has ever crossed that path. We cancel it tonight in the name of Jesus. We declare their expectation shall be failed and your expectation of God shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. We will not abort destiny. And we will not be ignorant for such statements. Hallelujah. And then there is also there are people who open a gate because of prayerlessness. You began very well to pray. You got some money. You got some influence. And you stop praying. Whatever is bad of prayer is sustained by prayer. And finally, is vows and ancient covenants. Some of them are not even known to you. These are the gates that are open. For attack, vows and ancient covenants. Vows and ancient covenants. Let me give you a very good example. When Samuel was born, the mother made a vow and the mother made a covenant. And he said, this child, when the child is born, after winning it, I will dedicate this child to the Lord. By the time Samuel was born, his destiny had already been programmed. 
So by the time he was born, whether he wanted it or not, he had to end up in the temple. Now this is on the light side, on the good side. But we don't know, people make vows and some of them even die. Covenants, agreements made in families and some of them die. But we are here to announce that indeed you belong to the family of the father. You belong to the family of the father. You are born of God, you are born of Christ. You belong to a new family bloodline. Every vow and every covenant that your family entered into, it is of no effect and of no power over your life. You are the seed of Abraham. You are connected to the blessings of the lineage of Abraham. Every covenant that the Lord entered with Abraham, you are now called to that covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. You carry the new nature of the new lineage that you come from in the mighty name of Jesus. As for you and your house, we declare that indeed because of the life and the life of God in you, you have prevailed. No curse can rise against you. You are blessed of God. You are moving forward. You are breaking barriers. No limitations for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are opening up strange doors and virgin doors, doors that have never been opened in your family. You are ascending. You are moving forward. You are changing the narrative and the history of your family. You carry God in you. You are the carrier of the dimensions of the Father. Many shall benefit from you. You are setting a new pattern in the realms of the Spirit. You are the deliverer. You are like Gideon who destroyed the altars of his father and there was revival in his father's house. You are like David. You are killing the giants that your brothers could not slay. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are like Joseph who ended the battles of his family in the mighty name of Jesus and healed his family. You are like Jephthah who rewrote the history of his family. Though he was a son of a prostitute, he rewrote the history of that family. My God, I declare that is who you are. I declare those graces are working in in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you are the head and not the tail. I declare because of your presence as a son of God that family will stand. Because of your presence as a daughter of destiny that family will be transformed. I declare you are the contact point for the flow of the divine power of heaven. I declare the possibilities of Zion shall be expressed through you and with you. You cannot be cast. You are blessed. You are ahead in the mighty name of Jesus. You are moving forward. Your children are rising. They are successful. Your marriage is working out. My God, in the name of Jesus, no utterance. You are who the Lord says you are. The confessions of Zion are your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Karabo Sontali Bakata, Lebra Kuntalabea, Sadabara Toskia. Like Abraham, I declare, may you possess the gates of your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. We announce right now under this open heaven that the destiny of our families has now been accorded unto men. May you labor to see even them who are not born again. Because of your presence, they shall enjoy the things of the Lord. Because of your presence, you shall be the contact point for salvation. Because of your presence, you are carrying now a priestly legislation. Witches cannot rule that home. You are ruling that home. You are empowered for exploit and divine manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the one to reverse curses, infirmities, diseases, and patterns in the name of Jesus. Out of you shall help come as it came to Joseph that indeed a whole family relied on a, on, a, on a second last born in the mighty name of Jesus. May the grace of God come upon you. The grace of Joseph, the grace of David, the grace that was upon Jephthah, the grace that was upon Abraham. May that grace come upon you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are favored of the Father. Kabosima you shall see the restoration of your family in the land of the living. You will stand on Zion to declare the goodness of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. We now declare there is no premature death in our families. We declare women are delivering in the right time. We declare chronic diseases have come to an end. We declare numbers of joblessness are coming to an end. We declare madness cannot prevail. We declare marriages are working. People are not delivering. Laying. They are getting married at the opportune time. We declare hardship and constant poverty has been broken tonight. We declare we are rising and we are not failing. We have a covenant.
covenant with success, not death. We declare that our children shall clear school. We declare that indeed there will be progress in our families. There will be good news. We are not stagnating. We are not suffering. We are moving forward. And we declare right now that jealousy neighbors shall see the Lord fight for us. We declare that indeed homes where stepmothers have risen to ruin those homes. We declare their powers have been cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare aunties and uncles and relatives that are not proud of us. We announce that indeed their desires and expectations shall be cut off. And finally we declare prayerlessness will not be our portion. May the spirit of revival and awakening, may it be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God. I sense a lot of victory, a lot of healing in the name of Jesus, my God, my God. We praise the Lord and we bless the Lord. Thank you for everyone that has joined us tonight. When I was praying, where I'm, where I'm seated, I saw an angel on this side. I, you know, I just opened my eye and I saw an angel on that side. And I knew there is divine backing. There is divine backing tonight. My God, things have fallen. Oh, Jesus. We will receive testimonies because of what the Lord has done. Marriages are going to be healed. Fathers will begin to call their daughters again. Father, we bless you because of what you have done tonight. We give you glory. We receive our answers now by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, now we can give our offering. It's the midnight hour. It's the midnight hour. I always say... It's such a time, strange prayers as strange hours and strange sacrifices and givings. Let me, let me explain this so that you can understand. There are three functions of an altar. Number one, an altar is a place where a man stands to address the heavens and the earth. The Bible says, and Moses declared, O ye heavens and the earth, hear the word of the Lord. Men make rulings on altars. Today we have made a ruling. An altar is a place where men sacrifice. And the offer is a place where men sacrifice. And the power of an altar is on the frequency of sacrifice. And finally, an altar is a place that gives the realms of the spirit legal ground to affect our physical realm. So where there are altars, there is divine, there is divine things that happen in the life of a man. It is time to give our offering. The other thing is that there is no man in heaven. Every ministry, ministry is always supported by men that understand the revelation of giving. Hallelujah. So give your sacrifice at this hour. Uh, we are giving sacrificially and we are giving up because we love the Lord. It's a midnight sacrifice. The numbers are there. 0726 714 713. 0726 714713 and also for um, buy goods and services till number is 817370 817370 that is the till number buy goods and services so get into your mpesas get into your phones and just release an offering father we bless you thank you lord for the giving of your sons and daughters Lord, is such a privilege. As men are servicing their altars demonically, we are also servicing our altars spiritually. With all spiritual sacrifice, with prayer, with praise, and with our giving, O oh Father. At this strange hour, may this sacrifice provoke strange miracles and strange answers. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God watch over you. Them that are going to continue, receive the grace. Hallelujah. Amen.